Well, a tougher white, man, and, and actually your, your rainforest connection, but the website is easier than spelling out all those words, rfcx.org, right? Yeah, and you, right. you and you are the person in the world really saving the world rainforest, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, we're just we're actually involved with those who are doing the hard work on the ground. Yeah, right? but the it, it's the really you down. invented this technology and this idea, you know, to, to really put used cell phones in the forest all over the world. You're lo planning to do right. And yeah. To, so that Thanks. that people when anybody goes out and starts their chainsaw to get rid of these valuable forests, man. You got the cops on them, right? So you're a well, yeah, fire I mean, alarm. So in some cases, the cops. I mean, that's that's what's great. It's it's, it's such a simple idea. And there is cell phone service way out in the middle of the forest, which is one of these crazy surprises <laughs> that we didn't know about. Right? Uh, and in fact, there's billions, there's hundreds of millions of old cell phones that are being thrown away every year. So we got those coming in as donations. Ah. Um, and in fact, the biggest issue is just you got to get them out to the forest and put them up. Ah. So once they're out there, they can listen to all the sounds of the forest. They can hear, like you said, chainsaws up to a kilometer away. Uh, they can hear trucks. They can hear gunshots. They can hear animals who are wow. who are in a pain or in a trap, wow. and then they can send alerts to, it's not even just law enforcement, but we're finding are our best partners are the ones who just live there, the, the, the local people, the I indigenous see. people, uh, the, um, you know, the, native, know. Uh, the natives in, in the Amazon, those are the ones who are, who are the most motivated to go and show up. Yeah. So it's not just about calling yeah. cops on people, it's actually just about <laughs> creating this, this uh, transparent, real-time data on deforestation because there's so many people who would actually show up to stop it. Wow, and, and you started a nonprofit organization to do this, yeah. and and you went on Kickstarter, crowdfunding site, and got almost one hundred and seventy thousand dollars to yeah. expand this <laughs> thing, man. So a little nonprofit, you know, yeah. All of a sudden, you know, within a month, you get one hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Now, how the hell did you do that? Well, I mean, this is it all comes down to. I think uh, we were trying to do something that involved uh, people out there. We weren't uh, just trying to say, hey, save the rainforest. Frankly. Right. I, I think my generation is is pretty bored of hearing about saving the rainforest. Yeah. We've been hearing the same, and I, I sort of feel this way. Uh, we've Earth Day for me since you were been a kindergarten. Hearing the same message for yeah. twenty, yeah. the same message for twenty years, uh -huh. uh, and it hasn't changed. And yet the entire world has changed. So what we're saying yeah. is, look, uh, this isn't just about uh, cause and hearing the same old like mm -hmm. stats about how the rainforest is disappearing. This is about a solution that you can put up in the trees, yeah. and just as much as that, this is about a solution that you can visualize, and this is something that you can take part in. Yeah. So what's amazing what we're doing is that we're not trying to make it like a cause for saving the rainforest. We're saying, look, yeah. we have a product yeah. that we're putting up in the rainforest. If you can help us get us off the ground, then you can participate in this in this by ah, actually see, getting right. the data, getting the live streaming sounds yeah. from the rainforest, wow. getting a whole new adoption tier that allows you to actually see what's happening in the forest. Wow. I mean, we, we're trying to come up with new and compelling ways of getting young people and really just a technological generation to connect with the idea of saving the rainforest so they can see that it's really dramatic and it's happening right now. So I could get a nap, like on my phone, and I press the button, I'm here in the rainforest exactly. right now. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's, and if that's I hear it. the buzz saw, I could call somebody. <laughs> exactly. Well, it's not even about, yeah, it's like, we'll call you and say, hey, there's a buzz saw in the forest. Do you want to hear, do you want to hear the guys show up and stop them? Or, I see. Oh, wow. Or we'll say, or we'll say look, um, you know, you have an interest in orangutans. Well, we just heard, checked in an orangutan in this area for the first time. You can listen in live right I now. I see. Wow. I mean, I think that, that one of the things that really, um, as, as nonprofits, as, as cause uh -huh. Based things. There's so much uh, focus on like framing the problem and trying to yeah. tug at heartstrings. Right. That's super. That's incredibly important for very obvious reasons. But I think that one of the things that, that really gave us our success was was focusing much more on um, on the ways in which we can make this uh, fun and interesting yeah. for people, and that they can see that this is really dramatic. Yeah. Um, so it, it, basically, what's happening in rainforest? People are so sick of of, of seeing stats. We're so yeah. sick of saying this many football fields yeah. have been have right. been gone uh, or been destroyed <laughs> over the past month. Right. Frankly, I just think there's that that that, that messaging is over. In our yeah. case, we're saying, look, this is happening right now, and this yeah. has become a spectator sport. You can listen in, and you can wow. actually get it. Um, wow. And this is something that uh, that I think is really going to help people realize that this is not just some abstract idea out in the middle of nowhere. This is something that they can they can really be so a part you're, of. So you're, you're not more than quantifying, you know, the, the situation. You're you're making it real for everybody. You have an app, and you're using capitalism really to help finance, you know, changing this you know problem we have and how people can participate more than just putting money in the you know pot, right? I certainly hope so. I yeah. really, certainly hope that uh, I don't feel that, that, that this idea of donation to our cause is, uh, is, is uh, a long-term long strategy for us. I think what we are trying to do is find a way to get people to, to want to pay for, for saving the rainforest by getting something in return, an uh -huh. actual product that, they, that they, can, they can connect with. Because 
as with so many of the causes and so many nonprofits out there, yeah. everybody's been hearing about saving the rainforest forever. Exactly. They're just waiting and they're looking for a new right. <laughs> way to do it that matches with their normal, with their with their normal um, you know lives. And well, now Topher just... has to do it. Why does this young man in San Francisco have to change the world? <laughs> Actually, no, what you're really doing, you're changing the world on on no, how to raise just, money like... for on, on, on the marketing of a nonprofit. <laughs> And, and that to me is what you're really doing. I mean, you're, uh, whether you change, you know, the solve the global warming or not is something else, but really you're, <laughs> certainly is. <laughs> you're changing how a nonprofit can grow and be more effective by using capitalism. I, I, I certainly hope that we'll be able to, to show this as a, as a, as a success story. Yeah. Uh, in our case, we're just a really small team. Uh, when we were launching on Kickstarter, there were really only two Two or three of us who, um, wow. who even had the potential to work on it full time. Uh, we have these, but we had a fantastic volunteer base uh, around the world who were who were so excited to, to to get involved because the Kickstarter is an exciting thing. You right. know, pe people want to be involved in these sort of high, right. uh, high stakes, <laughs> high stakes activities, especially when they start seeing the publicity takes off. When especially when they start seeing that that uh, that that it, people start talking about it. And there's well, you got Neil Young thing. to give you a testimonial, like in your infomercial. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm Neil I mean, Young. And <laughs> Well, you know, this is what's amazing is that he spent his uh, he spent his whole life uh, campaigning against um, well his recent life yeah. campaigning against climate change and indigenous rights. He basically wow. wants to help Indians preserve their land, and he wants to uh, and he wants to, um, to fight climate change. But the way he's always been doing that was by fighting Kiso and XL and other sort of basically fossil fuel based things. Right. But what's amazing is that when we started this, we were just trying to save areas of forest. We didn't realize the impact that saving one small area of forest yeah. has on climate change. If you can just take three square kilometers, it's equivalent to taking 3,000 cars off the road. And so all wow. we had to do was go to it, was, was basically go to Neil and say, look, this fits into everything that's important to you. You yeah. wanna stop climate change. You wanna help protect indigenous rights. Um, is this something that you're willing to, to spare, you know, yeah five, 10 minutes of your time for a video on. And he said, absolutely, uh, this is no important. I'll kidding. take the time to do it. Wow. And then um, beyond that, he just really helped us out uh, through through sort of messaging yeah. the backers. You know, he's, wow. he's, uh, he's a real inspiration. Uh, I love that. So guy. you just have to ask. I mean, he wasn't a relative of yours or something like that. No, just... <laughs> <laughs> no I mean, it's, hard, it's hard to get to these people. And again, yeah. uh, we were hoping to get, get to more, but um, it, uh, you just you got to start by asking and absolutely. ask as many people as you can because yeah. It's all, it's all about how your idea fits into to what they're already Absolutely. trying to work on. And, and people learn. ask enough people, something's gonna happen. So you, you Yeah, just and you don't, you don't need nothing. celebrities, you don't need yeah. uh, all that. It's really just about uh, finding a way that people, um, people are actually buying a product yeah. from you. Wonderful. So In to find that, and actually what's the neatest thing about your site, you could go to uh, your site and really listen to the rainforest right now, right? You have uh, a sample. Well, you, go there. you have a sample yeah. of that, right? What it looks yeah. like on your app, great. So, uh, it, yeah, it's the, we do have an option for you to sort of listen in and see how how sort of uh, I, you know how, people, uh, a little bit thing, but it, the reinforce is a really noisy, beautiful, amazing place. <laughs> it's it's uh, it's not that great when you're there. It's it's, uh, it's, really, it's really a difficult place to be. But if you just listen to the sound, it's really it's actually really quite beautiful. Well, and, if you uh, don't want to go to the rainforest, you go to rfcx.org and you listen to it and see right. how you can get this app and, and help that's you right. guys do this. And, well, uh, thank would, you. Yeah, go ahead. What, you have yeah, wonderful. Well, thank you so much. And hey. it's good to have you in the in the world here, trying to do your little part and really educate the nonprofits about how they can use capitalism too to do the things that they want to do, right? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, please, uh, anyone anyone who has questions about what we did, uh, please let us know. If you have more ideas, uh, please let us know. We're 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 here to to try and to try and get to know everyone that we can because we don't have all the answers for sure, uh, and we bet that you might. <laughs> But you got questions, right? Oh, we got a lot of questions. <laughs> and if you have questions for us, uh, please do. Please do want to know everybody. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Talbert. Take care. Talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Thanks to you, Matthew.